From a medieval cathedral to high-rise glass skyscrapers, Cologne is one of the largest cities in Germany. So is the pace of life too hectic here or is it possible to enjoy a major European city but still be laid back? I'm Kaylee. And I'm Josh with Expats Everywhere, and we're collaborating with Digital Nomad World, a site that gives you guys information on what it's like living in different places in web format, so come explore with us. Let's chat about a few things to know before going to Cologne, whether that's to move there or to visit. Like I said before, it's one of the biggest cities in Germany, both by area and population with over 1 million people. It's on the west side of the country and is known for the beautiful Rhine River, which is a major European river that spans several countries. We'll chat about budget and living in a minute, but how about the weather? Germany can be known to be cold, so what's it like in Cologne? It's definitely a city that sees rain all year round, but even more so in the winter. The winter temperatures stay cool between the 30s and 40s and normally sees snow, especially in December and January. While it does warm up in the summer, it's not overly hot with highs really only getting into the 70s and still cooling down to the 50s at night. So for those of you who prefer cooler weather and like snowy winters, Cologne is a city to consider. With a mix of old and new architecture, the city has lots of green spaces with the botanical gardens being a great place to hang out in the afternoons. It's free to enter and there's even a beer garden here, although it's not free. <laughs> and speaking of architecture, we of course have to mention the cathedral, which is the tallest cathedral in the world. Construction actually started in 1248, but wasn't finished until 1880. The city was pretty hard hit during World War II, so a lot has had to be rebuilt. This is why we see a lot more modern architecture and high rises around today. It's close to a few other European cities, making it easy to pop over to a few of those countries west of Germany like Belgium or Luxembourg. You don't even need a car for this because you can take a train and train travel is quite easy and affordable. And since you mentioned international travel being affordable, let's break down some of the other costs for those of you thinking about living in Cologne. A one bedroom apartment in a central area will be around 800 to 900 euros and drop to around 700 when you get a little further out. A three bedroom apartment in the center will be around 1600 euros or higher and then drop to 1000 to 1200 as you move away from the center. Yep, and if you're looking for something furnished, expect to pay more and of course, this depends on amenities. Your price can really go up here. Supply and demand will also cause price fluctuation, so this just gives you an idea of what to look out for. Since it stays cool, you'll probably want to be running your heat, which can cause your utilities to go up. This can be monthly, it'll be anywhere from 250 to 300 euros for utilities. Now the good thing is some places will include utilities so you can just pay a monthly flat rate and not worry about the ups and downs of those bills. Keep in mind, something that includes utilities is obviously going to be higher compared to ones that are just listed. That's right. Wages are higher here, but of course that means that the cost of living is higher than in some other places. So for example, a meal at an inexpensive restaurant is most likely at least 10 euros, but probably closer to 15 euros, depending on if you get a drink. A three course meal for two at a mid-range restaurant will be at least 50 euros. Beer and coffee, two to three euros. Cologne has a fairly big light rail that is partially underground and then spreads out to surrounding areas of the city. There are also lots of buses here, so it's very well connected by public transportation. There are ticket machines at many of the stations around, but you can also buy tickets online. It's not the cheapest though, so expect to pay at least three euros for a ride. Also be sure to budget for those longer train rides to visit new places because you're so close to other cities and even some great German cities to visit like Dusseldorf, which is smaller than Cologne but known to be a rival city. We have a video about Dusseldorf as well, so you can see that and you can compare yourself. One of the biggest things that both cities celebrate is Carnival or sometimes referred to as the fifth season. It begins every year on November 11th at 11, 11 a.m. and it lasts all the way to February with parades, shows, and of course, lots of beer and more. The city center is a popular place to live with lots of things going on, so maybe it's not the best with the family because of how lively it is and the cost being higher. Here are a few of those central areas though for those of you who are looking for that. Here are a few neighborhoods that tend to have larger homes, are safer, and closer to nature. If you're looking to live on a budget, then check out these neighborhoods. Remember that public transportation is good, so don't be afraid to live a little further out of the city center. Gyms, sports clubs, swimming pools, and outdoor exercise are all good options for those of you interested in fitness. 
There are many indoor pools, so you can swim all year round, and a lot have saunas and tubs and spa services that you can enjoy. There's a booming nightlife around Cologne, so it's easy to find something to do. The city is also very family friendly, so you have a good mix. There's an international school in Cologne and then a few private and international options near the city as well. Expect to pay around 10,000 euros a year per child. So cost of living can be a bit high, so what kind of jobs are available? It's not a bad place to be a digital nomad as long as you mind a budget. And there are a variety of co-working spaces for those working digitally or remotely, but there are also a number of coffee shops and restaurants to work at and enjoy. Internet speed shouldn't be an issue here. There are a variety of companies that have headquarters in Cologne, so this can bring in jobs of all different industries. Job searching should be fairly easy. Retail and hospitality are very big. Tourism is huge in Cologne, so that's another field that is available. The city also has so much going on as far as events and shows, you can probably find something in that sector. There really are loads of options here for jobs like we've mentioned. Wages should be good. If you're an EU citizen, then finding a job is much easier, but if you're coming from outside of the EU, your company needs to sponsor your visa. Make sure you get on the correct visa for work. This can be a little difficult, but if you're hired by a company, they will help you. Cologne is big and beautiful, but maybe the weather isn't so enticing. Carnival is though, and it spans the winter, so maybe that's a way to get through the cold. So would Kaylee and I live here? All right, Cologne. Could we live there? What do you think? Well, let's talk about, let's break it down a little bit because okay. it does have a nice little old city area, which mm. is really cute and quaint, but then you walk around and you get a lot more modern. So I do like that really mix of traditional, those characteristics, but then also the modern. What do you think? Yeah, I totally agree. And to give you guys some context, uh, Kaylee and I have some friends that have lived in Cologne. We have been there several times. We really like the city. Uh, we, we know it fairly well. Actually, you've been there more than I have. It, it's a beautiful city. I mean, it's it's an absolutely stunningly beautiful city. I think that the cathedral draws a lot of attention. Oh, yeah. You get a lot of tourists around that area, um, which, you know, do you like living around tourists? I think there are a lot of sections of the city that seem to be really easy to live in, mm. like pace of life and everything, amenities. Germany is known for efficiency, right? That's true, yeah. And I think the city is very efficient. You have sections, neighborhoods that would be super easy to live in because it's got everything that you need in a 10, 15 minute radius. Yeah, definitely. And what I like is there's such a good mix. I mean, we were there quite a while ago with some friends and nightlife was like a big thing. And I mean, the nightlife was great, but then walking around during the day, it's very family friendly. Yeah. There are things to do for everyone really. So you can have that nightlife if you want it, or you can have something that's more family friendly or a little lower key. So I really like they've done a good job of that mix. You see people all ages around you know that was actually something I wanted to touch on as well I, I completely agree I think that there's there's like this perfect harmony of, of what's happening with the different age groups and the different uh, lifestyles that people want to live and it all just seems to kind of work right mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. people just kind of get on and are able to do the thing that they want to do without much fuss yeah and it's a pretty big city so they do I think a pretty good job of that kind of mixture that they have yeah, weather doesn't seem to be too crazy. I mean, like we said, Germany is known to be colder than other countries in Europe, certainly. Uh, where we live in, in Portugal, Portugal is known to be sunnier, warmer. Uh, so Germany is colder. I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah, that would be something to take into consideration. It's that time to ask the question, would you expat that? And that basically means, would you live in a place for the short to medium term? Is it a place that you're interested in living after you travel and, and visit there a little bit? So Kaylee, would you expat Cologne? Okay, so I might sound a little crazy, but I think I would say, yes, I would like to expat it and I would like to be there in the winter because I would want to experience carnival. Okay. We've not experienced carnival and it's November to February and maybe it's a bit gloomy and the weather's not so good, but they have all these parades and parties and everything, especially at the front and the back end of those. Yeah. So I think maybe it gets you through the winter. So I would say, yes, I would expat Cologne and I would like to experience carnival. You? Well, whenever we visited there last, I told you straight away, I said, I would expat Cologne. I just, I like the vibe of the city mm -hmm. and I like to steal your word vibe. <laughs> I really like the feeling, the city, the atmosphere, um, the, the people seem to be a bit nicer, a bit, a bit warmer than, than Germans are typically known for being. Germans are nice people, but they're not typically warm, right? Yeah, I think they, they just don't appear very warm when you're walking around and 
yeah. speaking with them. Maybe because the language too sounds a little harsh. Yeah. I, again, you know, my thing uh, is very much price, and I think that it, it is uh, it is a bit expensive. But mm -hmm. it, it's expensive because it's Germany. Germany is a bit more expensive. So having a job like an international job that has me based in Cologne, great. I'm sure the wages will be fantastic. Going there, working digitally like we are, uh, it might be a little more difficult, um, but I think I'd like to give it a try. I don't think I'd want to do it in the winter. I'll just travel for Carnival. <laughs> okay, all right, I mean, that does make sense. If you guys want to see other cities in Germany, we've created this playlist just for you, so you can check out other cities that we've highlighted. Now, let's get moving. Bye. Bye.